Hey guys, Aries JJ here with a very quick, uh, simple tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware in the Omboy OC uh, Desire Designs Rage Squonk mod. Uh, now, the firmware that we are doing today is current as of July 25th, 2018. Uh, so uh, if they have put out another uh, firmware update uh, since then, uh, you'll need to go to Desire Designs website to download directly. The reason for this tutorial is because some people were having an issue with the .rar uh, compression format that Desire Designs is putting out. So what I have done is I have downloaded that firmware updater and repackaged it into a .zip file format. Uh, this makes it easier for most people as Windows has a built-in zip extractor. Uh, so we can go ahead and continue from there. Now, disclaimer, I am running a dual monitor setup, so some of these windows may open on my secondary monitor, uh, and I'll have to drag them on screen uh, so we can see what's going on. So please bear with me through that. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the Dropbox uh, location, which I will have in the description down below, and it will come up. It may pr uh, prompt you for a login. If it does and you have a Dropbox login, go ahead and log in. Uh, if you don't feel like logging in, there should be a link down at the very bottom of that prompt saying that you want to skip and you just want to do the direct download. Either way is fine. But what we're looking for is rage.zip with the rage folder right here. And we're going to go to these three dots up here in the corner. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on direct download. So that's going to pop up with, uh, do you want to open it? Do you want to save it? So on and so forth. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open it and we're going to use uh, Windows Explorer. If it's not here by default, uh, click on the drop down and, uh, and we'll go ahead and, and get the Windows Explorer there. But most people should have Windows Explorer de here by default. So we're going to click OK. And that's going to pop up with the download location. And it's going to have the Rage folder. Uh, rage upgrade folder and inside there is the actual updater itself along with the absolutely horrid uh, translated instructions that most people are having an issue following but the most important part is we're looking for this extract right here so we're going to go ahead and extract extract all and what should appear which came up on my other monitor come on there we go is this box right here which should show the destination the most important thing that we're looking for is that we show extracted files when complete so we're going to go ahead and click extract it's going to go through and right here is the actual folder that we're looking for rage rage upgrade and then we've got our uh, installer file which is en78 update v1806260 rm.exe uh, again yours uh, may or may not show that .exe uh, at the end if not it just means that your computer has file extensions hidden by default uh, and again we have those horrid instructions now whenever you go to actually double click on this installer a warning may pop up uh, and that's because Desire Designs did not digitally sign their installer. Uh, it happens. So we're going to go ahead and double click and there's that prompt saying that uh, that Windows is trying to protect your PC. We're going to go ahead and click on more info and we're going to click on run anyway. And what should happen and of course it popped up on my other screen is this box has appeared desire designs the start button will be grayed out and nothing going on in the progress bar so this is where we move back over to our mod again with the batteries out and our usb cable already plugged into our computer we're going to hold the usb in one hand with the other hand, we're gonna hold down the up and down uh, buttons at the exact same time, and we're gonna hold them through the entire process. And we're gonna plug in the USB cable. You should hear a notification signal that, uh, the, uh, that the device is connected. It may or may not appear, but in my case it did. And you'll notice that the start is now lit up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on start, and the progress bar will start going all the way across. 
As soon as it reaches the end right there, we're going to go ahead and let go of the buttons and check battery should appear. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and remove the USB cable. Open up the back of the device and reinstall our batteries. Turn on the mod, five clicks, desired designs. And to verify that the install and firmware upgrade did actually take, we're gonna go into the menu, one, two, three, work mode settings, and we're just gonna cycle through until we see where it says soft version V1806260-RM. If that has appeared on your device, that means that your firmware flash has taken and is successful. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back through to exit menu, go ahead and hit the, the fire button and you're ready to go. If you have any questions on any of this process, uh, by all means, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below uh, and I will answer them as available. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of is whenever you close this, a box may appear on your screen. Let me drag it over. Oh, for the one time that it doesn't do it. Uh, but it may say that it didn't install correctly. Uh, if that's the case, this file doesn't actually install on your computer. So just click uh, cancel or close that box. It doesn't really matter. But again, if you have any uh, questions, by all means, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll help out as I can. On that note, have a good one.